Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. And thank you for joining me in an advent countdown project. And I know it doesn't look very festive, does it? Well, kind of when I was coming up with this prototype and the sample that I was making, I was kind of a bit festived out. I'd actually made rather a lot of Christmas, uh, Christmas boxes and projects. And I thought, I really fancy using something floral. And then when last night I came to prep this project, had a change of heart and decided to see if I could make a Christmassy version. So it's floral here, but it's also kind of festive. It's got a belly band. It's quite simple. You can see there's no stamping. This is all about the paper and the ribbon. So it is a lidded box. Lid lifts off like that. I can't remember what the finished dimensions are. What are the finished dimensions? Uh, three by five. So that is going to be 12 and a half by seven and a half centimeters. And it's a nice size box fit lots of goodies in there. You could fit a whole load of candles maybe, tea lights, something like that. So I'm going to show you how to make it and I've managed to actually leave, what have I done with my notes? I've put them somewhere. I've put them on my carousel to the left. Right, let me get those down. So you need two pieces of cardstock um, and actually you can make two out of three pieces of cardstock because you need one full sheet of cardstock for the base and then half a piece for the top. So two bases, um, from two sheets and two lids from one sheet and then you need your simply scored scoring tool so the base measures 8 by 11 inches which is 20 by 28 centimeters and you score it at 3 inches on all four sides which is 15 centimeters is that right? no that can't be right seven and a half centimetres on all four sides. I'm going to have to go and change my notes. So three inches on all four sides, seven and a half centimetres. Okay, and then the lid is five and one sixteenth of an inch by eight and one sixteenth of an inch, which is just a fraction bigger. So 3.2 centimetres, no, 13.2 centimetres by 20.7 centimetres. And you score it at one and a half inches on all four sides which is four centimeters and by going that fraction of an inch bigger that's how you get um, your lid to sit over the top okay let's do some burnishing so fold all your score lines and this is smoky slate the first one I made was the natural ivory cardstock this one is smoky slate so hold it in the horizontal fashion because we need to cut up there because that part needs to fold in and stick to there um, but you do need to cut a bit of a wedge out of it so cut a wedge on one side and the other and hack across and that is so that you don't get an overlap of these these two bits of cardstock would overlap like that and it would just be too bulky do the same on the other part. Okay, and you don't have to be hugely neat with the hacking bit because obviously it is going to be on the inside. Nobody's going to see it. But these big wedges do make a big difference when you're building this card, this box up. It just helps it all close and look pretty. Okay, so that's the base. And then the top part, fold and burnish your score lines on this one as well. All the way around. And then we need to put some DSP panels on. And they need to go um, everywhere but the corners. So one in the middle, those two long bits and those two smaller bits. So I'm going to give you all of the measurements now. You need for the middle at the top one piece that is one and three quarters by four and three quarters, which is 4.5 by 12 centimeters. Two bits for there and there that measure one and a quarter by four and three quarters, which is three and a half by 12. And then you need two bits, two bits for the end that are one and a quarter by one and three quarters, which is three and a half by four and a half. And this is the All Is Calm Designer Series paper. Now, it is a festive paper. I think you could possibly get away with it not being festive. Let's discuss whether, an, whether a snowflake has eight points. 
Snowflakes have six, not eight. So that's your discussion point for today. Is it a snowflake if it has eight points on a festive paper or is it not? I don't know. To me, a snowflake has six points. <laughs> so a bit of snail on the back to um, put this all on. I've got lining up issues today. I'm sat very slightly off kilter. I couldn't get my tripod to work or to, <laughs> to set properly when I was setting up my camera. So I'm all a bit off kilter. If I was an engineer, I could tell you at what gradient my um, paper is sitting at. But if this is the edge of my desk, my paper's sat like that right now. <laughs> so I'm completely off skew if. Okay, bits to trim. So the same as we did before, cut in and cut a little wedge. So... But you don't need to trim across because obviously there's no overlap going to happen this time. Okay, and then we can start building all the box up. So I'm going to get my um, fast fuse that's over here. So already out it's on my desk and you want to come along onto the panels that are going to stick down so and somebody left me a really good tip on one of uh, as a comment on my one of my videos the other day she said that with fast fuse because I do get gummed up every now and again she said that apparently we all instinctively press really hard so she said if you press lighter it's easier and I would agree with her completely yeah that was a, apart from that one where I did go a bit hard pressing lightly does make a big difference so thank you so much for that tip but I do like the fuse anyway even if it does get a bit gummed up sometimes it's because it's so blooming strong is that the base done and then the lid Fanosh she's just woken up. Actually, I think it's because my next door neighbour's cat is outside the window and she decided to shout at her. Well, it was a good tip until I got gummed up. Actually, I'm, I'm now adding glue where it's not meant to be, including to myself. Okay, that was painful, wasn't it? So close up round for the lid and then to tie the bow on because that is how I'm finishing it simply with a bow so that slips on there it's not coming off and I've got the beautiful Stitch Grow Grain ribbon and this is Bermuda Bay because I just thought it went beautifully now oh Okay, everybody, cross your fingers for me to tie a bow. I have been sent so many videos and tutorials on how to tie a bow. It doesn't make any difference. So I'm going to go with the lovely Connie Stewart who has done one. So she says right over left and stretch up. And then she says left over right. So is that kind of bo bottom over? <laughs> I don't know. Is that like that? Oh, I'm easily pleased, aren't I? <laughs> so, right, Connie, thank you. I tied a knot and it's quite pretty. <laughs> I'm such a kid, aren't I? Anyway, <laughs> thank you ever so much for watching me make 
my lovely festive or not box. Anyway, thank you so much. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.